Welcome to my YouTube channel. First ever video. This is going to be a get ready with me slash get to know me tag. Um, I'll be doing my own makeup. If you've subscribed already, thank you. Thank you. And thank you for being a day one because these are the new days of my content creation here. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Click the notification bell so you're notified when I post a video. So, um, right now, I'm having some green tea with some mint and some gin. I am going to be mentioning the products I use, most of the products I use. I'm not gonna mention all of them, just to maybe give you guys a little tutorial. I'm going to be using this Essence Hydrating and Refreshing Jelly Primer. So I am going to get into the questions I got on my IG. If you'd like to interact with me more, please follow me on Instagram at Iconic. Tina Wigan basically you can put that in the search bar and you will get So the first question is how is it living in between Botswana and South Africa? It's emotionally consuming. It's very emotionally consuming. Firstly because I'm living when I'm in South Africa, I'm very far from my family, I'm very far from my friends, I'm very far from everything I'm familiar with and how you know the way of life moves or what it's like. But, I, I enjoy I enjoy living in both countries because it like broadens my mind to some extent. I get to see best of both worlds. Um, I get to meet different people, learn new languages. So I would all in all I would say I'd give it like a an eight. Like it's not that bad. If you want to do it, you can. So I'm using this Bobby Brown Bobby Brown um, face base. It's a moisturizer, it's an all-in-one primer and moisturizer. The next question is where are you from? What's your authenticity? Ethnicity. Authenticity. 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 <laughs> What's your in, in, ethnicity? Ethnicity. <laughs> the next question is where are you from? Where do you originate from? I am half Motswana and um, half Welsh. Um, I don't know if I should say I'm half Welsh or if I should say I have Welsh blood, you know? My mom's dad is Welsh. And then my mom's mom is Motswana from Palape. And then my dad is uh, uh, from my dad is from Levala. So I am I am Motswana. Both parents of mine are Botswana, but my mom's dad is Welsh. That's why I have these eyes and that's why I'm light skinned. Um yeah, so basically all in all I am mixed race. So I'm going to use this foundation, Huda Beauty, in the shade Bag Lava. It's the darker shade. And then the shade that's supposed to be my shade, that isn't my shade, is Custard. Um, and then to mellow it down, I'm gonna use this foundation called, it's Maybelline in the shade 48 Sun Beige. So this is the shade I made. I put all three together, most of the light. So the next question is, what is something you wish people knew about you? I believe in working your way up, I don't want to be at the top and then fall because of some dumbass shit, you know? So yeah, guys, I also do my neck. My neck, I used to have a very, I used to make big mistakes with my neck. Also, don't put foundation under your eyes. Makes your whole look cakey well, in my opinion. Also, guys, I'm using a damp blender. I believe in blenders. I don't believe in brush. So now I am going to do my highlights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I use this Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline in New York Fit Me in the shade. I don't know what shade this is. 18. The shade 18. Then I use this color corrector. It's C 
GC995. That's the shade. I put it on the inner part of my eye. To brighten it. You get it? Do you get it? The fifth question was What is a common misconception about you? So I'm guessing like you guys want to know what people say about me that's not really true or what people think of me that's not really true people think i'm mean a lot of people think i'm mean oh my gosh i thought you're such a mean girl but i'm not i'm not nothing mean nothing close and also people think i do drugs people think i do i don't do drugs i've never tried a drug in my life i don't think i ever will well i don't want to i don't think i will what inspired you to stay to start a youtube channel and what content will you be giving us so other than the fact that i've always wanted to start a youtube channel because i love the camera and i've never been able to speak in front of the camera before you know i've always been like a model and that's where it ended being silent behind the camera or in front of the camera and then <clears throat> the interview I had with TK from the Juice 2.0 is what inspired me more. It gave me some kind of validation. It made me feel like, you know what, girl? You can be in front of the camera and you can talk in front of the camera. So I was like, why not? Why not? Why don't I give it a shot? The hardest thing about YouTube so far is the intros, guys. Oh my goodness intros are hard why don't you guys warn me and tell me that when you blend out your concealer here's a trick your inner eye always blend in the same spot do not move until you are satisfied so now you can see my eyes are light i mean i'm almost matching my foundation so i'm just going to fire and fire. so you can see the there's lines there you can see the concealer so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender the part of my beauty blender that i was using to put my foundation on and i'm going to do this basically blend it all in and then and then what i'm gonna do next is i'm going to contour 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 my face contour my face I'm gonna use this black opal stick foundation stick. It's a foundation stick in the shade Sierra Slay. Sierra Slay. Yeah. Then I use this Maybelline Mattifying Matte Ink <clears throat> Super Stay lipstick in the shade 155 Savant. Um, and then I use Qua Qua Qua. You see now. You will see now. And what content will I be giving you guys? I will be giving you guys mostly beauty content, lifestyle content. So maybe I'll start doing vlogs. I just need to learn a bit. Um, lifestyle vlogs like food tasting, restaurant reviews. Um, yeah, basically vlogs at events when I'm invited. Uh, basically, yeah, that kind of content. And yeah, I'm going to add fashion to it soon. Um, I'm going to be using this translucent powder by Yardley. I think this is the best translucent powder, drugstore translucent powder, honestly. Genuinely. That's also windy and getting into chip. I don't work well and I don't drink anything I look at. But this is my second sip, so I'm lying. The second question is Are you bisexual? Are you bisexual? Um, I used to be. I used to find women very attractive. Like, yeah, I used to. But, um, I want to get married to a man. And I want to have kids without having to go an extra mile with the thought of it. And, and generally, I think 
I just want to have a man share his views of the world with me, which is a different perspective from from my my views, you know. It's a different perspective all together because that's literally like just another word. A man's word is a man's word, a woman's word is a woman's word. So now I'm gonna go in with this Huda Beauty baking powder. It's called Kunafa. It's in the shade Kunafa. Very yellow, could be used on light and dark skin. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with this baking powder. Always dust the powder of your, your blender. Always. I'm going to put some here. And I am going to do my eyebrows. So I'll be using this, the Burgundy Bar Palette from Maybelline. So now that I'm done with my eyes, I'm going to use this powder from Revolution P10. So I use I'm gonna use this um, powder to blend out my translucent powder. So guys, this is the trick that helps you make your skin mattify. What do you do when you start feeling inadequate? This is question number eight. What do I do when I start feeling inadequate? I isolate myself. I don't think it's the the best thing depending on how you're really feeling but i'm talking about feeling inadequate feeling out of place feeling like i'm not complete as a person or just feeling horrible you know i isolate myself i isolate myself and i journal and i go to the gym so when you see me go to going to the gym you must just know it's for Self love and just to remind myself that I am that baby. Also, I groove a lot when I feel inadequate. I leave the house at like 11, come back at 3. That groove helps. People that groove, they don't judge too much. They all come looking nice. So they kind of give you, they kind of give you like a reason to get back into the groove of things, you know. So that groove are so unbothered. They mind their business. Some of them. Okay, I'm not gonna wear lashes and I'm not gonna wear eyeliner. Um, ninth question. Why do you take long to reply texts? This is definitely from one of my friends. Um, because I have anxiety, so I take long to reply because I need to be in the right mood to reply message. I really hate offending people. I don't like it. I don't feel great about offending people. Like I said, I'm not a millionaire. I'm using this Huda Beauty palette, medium glow obsessions. Yeah, I'm using Pose Ultra Fine. This one, as you can see, I use it quite a lot. It's my favorite highlight. Highlight. I believe in Huda. Huda is the babe. I'm gonna go in with this Revlon new shade rose bomb highlight. It's got a bit of shimmer, so I think that's why I like it. Because liner really makes all the difference. Hey, this is an LA girl, LA girl liner. It's very, it's very nice. It doesn't drip. It doesn't like drip during the day. This is a Givenchy Disturbia Mascara. So I'm going to use this. So the next question was, how did you get where you are career-wise? When and how did you get started? <clears throat> so this is the last question. I decided I'm only going to answer 10. Um, so last question also because it has a very long answer. So I started doing this media um career when i was six years old i got my first modeling gig at game city in botswana 
I was doing a runway show um, for more than 10 stores in the park, including Woolworths, Ackermans, Mr. Price, Fashion World, Pep Stores, the like. And then long term, I just decided I want to be, I want to be in the in the public's eye i don't wanna you know i don't wanna chill in the back so after my first modeling gig doing like nails when i was in primary school i would do my family's nails and whatever but i was like i need to find a way to penetrate into the industry but i didn't have the money and my parents didn't even like look into it that much you know um so when i went to high school i started doing shoots for myself so i approached photographers on facebook at the time and collaborated with them so i'm like no let's shoot i'll come up with a concept i'll buy us lunch i'll save my school money and buy us lunch and we'd shoot and it'd come out perfectly you know so yeah that's how i started and I've been a model since then like then I started in high school as well I started getting gigs like activations you get act, go for activations anything to do with modeling involved me I told everyone that I knew I told them I wanted to be involved I wanted to be there please don't leave me out and I started going to an event called chill step in Botswana. and at that event I was there every single Sunday Every single Sunday without fail, only because there were so many photographers there. There were so many photographers. There were people selling clothes, fashion-related stuff, um, stalls, you know. So I, I literally just put myself in situations where I knew, girl, you get an opportunity there. Eventually, I didn't get as many gigs as I thought I would. And I had to just keep on going, like... Keep on going, something will come up, keep on going, and that's exactly what I did. I, I continued doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. Meeting people, finding a way to get into the industry, get to get gigs and whatever. And I just opened a store, makeup and nail bar. It was actually a beauty parlor, to be quite honest, because I'll do hair, I'll do nails, I'll do makeup as well. And eventually I had employees, and that's what I ventured into, but it didn't fulfill my heart. So I then decided to close it down and try and focus more on this part of my career. YouTube, Instagram, all of that, all of that nice, nice, nice. That's how I did it. And I'm not even halfway in my career, but like, I see I'm moving, you know? It is good to appreciate the fact that you're moving. So guys, I'm gonna use this fixing spray from Creolan. I got this Scented City. And most of the products are from Discount Clicks and the Arc Store. I am done here. I won't be doing my hair. This was specifically for you guys to get to know me. This is the final look of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for coming to my first ever YouTube video. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you. Please share this video, like and subscribe to my channel. Love you loads. Get some. Nah. Peace.